Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of our RimWorld Let's Play that we've entitled Nexology. Now, some amount of time has passed between the last episode and this one, um, because I want to finish a few things. The other thing, actually, I've been playing a little on my own. I've been playing on the 1.5 Unstable patch and having a great time with it. And in that one, I'm doing the sort of degenerate try-hard thing, which is like a single huge barracks that everything goes into that, I mean, it makes the game so much easier. It's so much better for wealth control. I mean, maybe less interesting than having all these apartment blocks and separate rooms for things, but man, oh man. But it did make me realize there's a few things we could do in this game to kind of move towards a little bit more optimization. First of all, the uh, the beds that had been in here is this overflow barracks. I've just moved into this big room because it's an extremely impressive room. So the... Oh, Immolator's sleeping there. Oh, yeah. So Immolator has woken up, randomly got over her paralytic abasia a little bit early, which is nice. Uh, she does have a uh, chemical dependency to Psychite and actually isn't the only one. Uh, so I did go and I'm, uh, you know what? I'd meant to do this and then I didn't. I'm going to expand our psychoid growing because uh, one of the things I'd forgotten about, psychoid doesn't actually really care about fertility too much, so it can grow on the regular soil just fine. So I want to grow some more of this so we can get some more psychoid tea ready because we do have some dependencies going on. The other thing in the schedule is our people's moods actually been pretty good. So I've moved uh, everyone off of the biphasic sleep schedule. Um, except for Immolator, who is going to need a little bit more help with the mood, and we'll take another look at things. You do lose a little bit of efficiency with the biphasic. It's good for keeping moods up, but right now our moods seem to be okay. So we're going to go to the single sleep schedule and see how that goes. Um, I do want to get this smithy up because we are going to make more use of melee. You can see Spear over here, who um, doesn't have a shooting passion, but does have a melee passion. And then the Fawns over here, who does have passion for both. Uh, which, I mean, they're actually quite good at shooting, but we've given them a melee weapon. I've also moved the combat armor, the marine armor? Marine armor to the fawns over here because I think the fawns, with their social skill, might go into a trade caravan. And I'm going to want them to be protected along the way. So I just got, went ahead and got that prep. Other than that, I'm not sure off the top of my head what has changed in the base, but you will see there's a little power cable going over here. Shoot, down to here, down to here, down to here. Hey, we finished geothermal research tech. So we're going to start building a geothermal generator on this geyser here. Um, I would actually like the walls to go up before the generator. Although, you know what? <coughs> we keep having the power brownouts. Maybe we do indeed prioritize getting the generator done, especially now that all the power cables are set up. Uh, it'd be nice to have this be subterranean table or cables in 1.5, but still in 1.4. So yeah, um, that will be very helpful. So our power is we're having a hard time keeping it. Really, I think a single extra solar panel generator and maybe a couple batteries uh, stored back here. By the way, I did go and roof all of our little halls over here because we do have the foggy rain that is running 100% of the time right now, which I'm still fine with. I think that's great for temperature control. But maybe for people who don't end up actually walking out here and are just crossing from one building to another, it'd be nice if they didn't get the soaking wet debuff. Home zone, I'm just double checking. That is covered. I'll go ahead and home zone that now. Yeah, all right, we're good there. Excellent. And I did make sure there's no roof going to be built on top of the generator. Over here, I did load up some old videos of mine to be like, how did I used to make the kill box? It used to feel so intuitive to build it. And here I was like, wait, how do I how do I block things? How do I get people to move? Um, and I'm realizing, first of all, if I just put I had in their run, I had the traps on the top side over here. And I'm realizing if I have the traps on the opposite side of the door, then all of a sudden things flow a little bit more naturally. I think these traps actually should all be moved one tile to the left as well. Um, I suspect this one here won't actually be triggered. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't. A mechanoid cluster. Okay. Uh, inside my base? Okay, game. Um, sure. Well, in later shit at shooting, you're going to get some EMP grenades. Uh, I don't think anyone else is garbage at shooting, but okay, we're going to get two people with EMP grenades. Do I have an area for indoors? I mean, it's I have it named, but I don't think it's been worked for a while. Actually, that seems fine. I'm going to tell everyone to go into this indoors mode for now. Defoliator. Yeah, we're going to have to take care of that. Auto charge. Oh, my God. This is quite bad. Although maybe with a pair of EMP grenades, one here, one here. Maybe it'll be manageable. 
Um, I'm wondering about the meleers maybe having to switch back to some ranged weapons, because these things tend to explode, right? I mean, I don't think the bows are terribly impressive. Let's do that and that. Um, Immolator, were you not supposed to go in... A Why didn't you go and equip the EMP grenade? There you go. And spear... Overriding people's command. Oh, can only one person access the shelf at a time? Maybe that's what was causing issues there. Um, I don't love this, but we're going to have to do this like immediately. This could be unbelievably painful. There's not a proximity trigger. So we've got some flexibility about where we're going to position ourselves. rocks I mean there's some cover here like the fence gives you a little bit of cover barely we're kind of worried about our accuracy at this range why, why are you why are you being like that Stunned. Keep him stunned. Uh, that was a pretty good explosion. You three, move up here. Wonder if we can do a corner peek around this. And another kaboom. Oh my god. This was handled so well. Yeah, I guess you're on auto shoot, so it's going to be fine. I'm going to move you guys up here. I hope you're not in the explosion radius. Okay, you just fired a grenade. I'm going to get you to pull back. Oh my god. That went so well. Oh, we have to shoot this? We can't just deconstruct it now? Oh, okay. Um, hope. I'm going to give you some more shooting experience. Pew, pew, pew. You're pretty miserable, but... So, we want you two to go back to melee weapons. A knife and a spear? Okay, no, they're both still active. There we go. Knife and spear done. You two will equip these bows. Alright. Where that hope might become a little miserable here. Oh, there we go. Explosion time. Oh. You're fine? Okay, you're fine. Deselect that, unforbid this, deconstruct that crap. Let's do a high priority haul in this component just to make sure it doesn't decay out there. But that seems fine. Okay. Yeah, that went shockingly well. Oh, I was going to say, why do we have so many idlers? Well, it's because of our restrictions. We'd have to stay inside the wall, but everyone else, if I reset you. Actually, Spear does tend to have a fair amount of idleness if there's nothing to craft. Are there not blocks to craft, or are we already good on the granite? Well, I guess we are at the granite number. Okay, so we have to wait for some construction to happen again. You're building these traps here, which is good. You know, actually, I'm going to get you to prioritize working on the granite wall. If nothing else, I want to consume some granite so that Spear's got a crafting job to do. Watch us box in some, some bison in here. Construction box... How are you botching construction? You've got a 16 skill. Is it the rain and the darkness, maybe? I suppose that could be possible. Hmm. Still kind of embarrassing, my dude. I want to get the smithy, but I'm just kind of waiting for the power to be set up first. 
Now, I guess we need a smelter to shred those. You don't shred. Oh, you shred mechanoids here. Never mind. I'm being dumb. Do forever. Put a shred job at the top. There, that's something spear can do when they're up. I mean, it won't take them very long, but so be it. Oh, you were very miserable. I think because I forced you a job and you're not you're not resting, you're not eating. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, okay. So I have to go and like turn off the egg thing here. They're bringing the fertilized eggs over here, which I guess is fine because I mean, we don't have temperature control in here, but it's probably less likely to freeze than outside. I'm actually just thinking about doing a, a chicken call at this point. We don't really need them for eggs and meat for any reason, I don't think. And we are starting to get some other animals, some more camels. Oh, I don't think I talked about this because I think I was distracted. Um, yeah, I mean, this looks insane because this looks like something that enemies will use to cover against us over here. Um, or did I talk about it? Spear and Fawns, you see, are using melee weapons. Um, the other thing that I reminded myself of is like, right, melee blocking is pretty good. What I've gone to do is next time we get a raid that comes through here, I'm just going to put a melee on each side here to plug people from coming through here. They'll stop and they'll kind of be engaged. And then we're going to put our shooters over here. These spots here, well, this from the middle is four tiles away, but the angles might be five. Uh, I think within five tiles, you can't friendly fire. So I think if we do this, we could put all our shooters here, have a couple of meleeers here, keeping people pinned down and then shooting. Uh, I moved, Mathis had the marine armor. I put it on fawns uh, because they're more likely to take damage in front. Spear as well, being sort of, in melee range, but the fawns, I also want to go and do a trade caravan with them because they have social skill um, and I want to sell a bunch of the crap that we've got around the base. So I'm going to do that now. One thing I don't know, do I have a, I do have, okay, I have a caravan hitching spot here. I'm going to move it to here outside of our stockpile because we're going to take one camel and we'll bring the camel over there and then we'll start loading it. And we're going to trade off a bunch of crappy things. And I think this might be the time to do it. Okay, world map. We're going to sell to this faction over here, the industrialized faction. So we're going to form caravan to go here. Oh, hang on. I need, I need some package survival meals. There's a times four job right over here. Package survival meals do until X where X is 10. That sounds okay. Now people will eat the survival meals. If the power is out, I think because we don't mind nutrient paste, I guess we'll run it as an experiment and see what happens. Since our people don't mind nutrient paste, I think they will eat nutrient paste meals first still. Wouldn't be the case if we weren't um, transhumanists. Now, if people, now, if the power goes out, they'll eat the survival meals. Just like this, which I don't necessarily want, although I also don't want them to starve. I guess what I could do for now is I can force everyone onto the paste diet to stop them from eating the nutrient paste meal or the survival meals. What are we doing over here? Components, we do have the components. Part of me is kind of happy with the walls going up first, but we really do need this power fixed. Oh, what are you up to? The maintenance, which is another thing that would be nice to be done with. And then you're teaching a lesson, which I guess is fine. Smogger's building walls over here. Okay, you know what I'm gonna get you to do? Come over here, build this geothermal generator. We really need our power to be stabilized, please. Oh, you're in a terrible mood. Well, you're not in a terrible mood. Your needs are getting pretty brutal. I don't think you're going to be able to finish this job, but yeah, go ahead and do the delivery. Because once all the material is out of place, your constructors do prioritize finishing jobs where all the material... Actually, I'm shocked how little work it takes to build one of these. Shocked. That's fast. Yeah, we'll just let Smogger finish the job. And then you can go feed himself and whatnot. Especially since there'll be power to run the nutrient paste dispenser. All right. Well, there we go. All right. No more power brownouts. Nice and stable. The other thing I will do is unforbid this because I want this electric smithy to finish. Please and thank you. Got that. We could maybe use a little bit of cleaning. This is home zone, right? No, I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nice home zone all of this. I did. that in there. Oh, I'm just realizing that needs to be home zone for repairs. And then the other thing I'll do is I'll remove that little line there. Good stuff. Okay. Spear still has nothing to do. Mm. 
hardened components. Good. Okay, so we'll need a lot less time maintaining our electrical equipment. That's very important. Oh, yeah. Have the, your meal. And you are consuming nutrient paints, so you're going to build that. I'm going to get you to build the smithy. I don't know what kind of weapons we can build, but maybe we can get ourselves some high-quality armaments before I send the fawns out. Um, I don't think we have any uranium anywhere, because ideally it would be a uranium mace or a plasteel longsword, and I think we have to research the longsword. Actually, maybe I'm not going to use this right away. Uh, if I do a search, uranium? No. I think we looked around. We didn't see any on the map. steel components. I think the uranium shows up purple with this ore coloring mod, and it's not there. Inspired recruitment. Well, hmm. I don't think we finished converting Reich, although Hope... Oh, you're asleep. Oh, God, that's annoying. Okay, you're about to wake up. Hold on. And you're up. Hope, come over here. Use your convert power. Oh, we don't even need the inspired recruitment. Your resistance is zero. There you go, converted. So the next conversation is just going to recruit Reich. Which is going to give us a miner, which is great. I think it's happening now. The fawns. He's, I think he's going to burn his inspiration here, but it doesn't actually matter. All right, Reich, welcome to the party. Anything... What are you military-wise? You know, you're kind of crap at everything. Okay, congratulations. I'm just going to equip this pillow on you, and then, yeah, you can do the clothing thing. That's going to be okay. Schedule-wise, um, we can probably just map you to everyone else. And then work-wise, firefight, patient, bed rest on a two, hall plus here. Oh, I'm just realizing, for my package survival meals, I actually want to require a skill of at least four, because we do have some people assigned to cooking who are kind of trash at it. Yeah, your big thing is, if we assign any mining, you're going to go and do some mine. Otherwise, I guess you're hauling and cleaning. Oh, I can put the craft on, because you can make blocks. I suppose I may as well turn on the cooking. And do some random butchering or stuff like that, but yeah, the big thing is mining. Actually, I guess I'll put the cooking at a three. If there's any mining to be done, just do that. Otherwise... Oh, so you might not be the most useful person in the universe, but I am happy about a high-quality miner. And yeah, we might go and replace your arms later on. We will see. Oh, okay, failed while constructing a trap. Oh, this is something I, um, I, when I was just revisiting some Killbox stuff, I saw a tip of doing this with our fence to stop random animals from wandering through our, um, our kill box here, our trap corridor. And setting off the traps. And, I mean, yeah, it gets, I guess it gets us a little bit of free meat, but kind of annoying to have to reset the traps. So we're going to try this. I think animals already can't get into our base because the barricades act as a fence. But yeah, this should be... This should maybe stop them from setting those things off. We'll see. Okay. So we got that. Slightly better defense. We got our power. I would like... Yeah, I want this to be enclosed. Destitute survivors. Ooh, major break. I'll pause a sec. Okay, so five people want to stay around. They might stab us in the back. But I'm going to accept them. Now, I think we might need a slightly increased barracks area over here. Yeah, I mean, five more people. And Reich hasn't chosen a bed yet either, so we really only have two spare beds. So I'm just going to go and construct another one of these blocks. Like this, and then build a copy over there. Good stuff. Now, these new refugees. I don't know why, why this order comes this way. But, firefight, patient. Okay, you can also do some doctoring while you're here. That's fine. Uh, what are you actually... You know, if I zero you out, except for like this, then I can copy this. Paste, 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 paste on these others. Wait, I left childcare on. Oh, because it's blank, it never actually got 
part of the uh, the clicky. Oh, that's interesting. And I guess the same for the wardening. Hmm. Okay. Um, I guess you could help with smithing. You could help with mining if we're doing any. You got a skill of 10. It's not really bad, although... Oh, wait, you don't have the maker trait, so you don't get the free plus one quality, so we actually don't care about that. I mean, I guess we can turn on the cooking for some of these. You can haul. Heck, you can research. Okay. Not the most terribly helpful thing, although if some of them wants to stick around, that might not be too bad, depending on what kind of traits they might have. Slow learner sucks. Tough's pretty good. And we've got some extra defenses. I think now is the perfect time for us to plan our trip with the fawns. Do that. We'll give you a dromedary. Oh, right. So didn't pick the package survival meals because you're still on the meal plan that doesn't use it, but that's okay. So we're going to do this and we're going to say, don't bring milk. Don't bring glitter world medicine. Bring a couple of doses of regular medicine. That'll be okay. So it says zero days of food. We're going to change their food um, uh, allowance. Yeah, pretty quickly. So what do I want to bring to sell? I want to bring these microscopic little stacks of leather that are, you know, maybe all of them. We've got tons of cloth. I'll, I'll, I'll sell all this leather because it's kind of awkward to make anything out of this. Um, we're going to see what our capacity is. I think I do have to set a, a burn rule for these low quality weapons. They're going to sell for like less than a buck and they do weigh stuff, but I'm going to bring them all anyway. But yeah, I've got to set up a burn rule for these crap weapons. I want to keep these EMP grenades. Um, I guess I should keep the Molotovs. I don't tend to use them, even though they're actually awesome. I don't know why I ended up with so many, so many capes here. Okay, that's our mass limit. Um, we could make more money if I brought this clothes instead of all these shite weapons. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I really do have to set a burning rule. Because we're only going to get a fraction of the value while selling it. Okay. We'll do that. Let me come back around. Get Parker's pants. All these things are just going to sell for so much more money. And that would send me over. Okay. Not going to bring any silver. That's fine. 1.5 days. I'm going to send. Yeah, you think you don't have any food, but that's not actually accurate. Because where's the fawns? Oh, down here. You are going to go back to default, which means you're allowed to eat survival meals, which means you'll be able to eat along the way. Okay. Hopefully... You don't get ambushed by anything too scary. Because being solo is not great. Although, again, you are pretty good at fighting. You've got the marine armor. I guess you do have two prosthetic body parts. That might not be the ideal. Because you are getting a mobility or a manipulation penalty from the prosthetic arm. It's 85% efficiency. But, mm, oh well. All the new people are complaining about their tattered apparel. And two of them are also complaining about their moods. Maybe these new people should be put on biphasic for now. Just very quickly. They don't, they don't even have a bed right now, so that's part of the issue. Okay, breastfeeding, you need some food and recreation. Allison, mood's still okay. Smogger, why don't you get up right now? Eat yourself a meal. Okay. Oh, it's our first time moving over here. I don't, I don't know if I was aware of ancient danger. Do the thing where I mark. Oh, you can't, you can't put the plan outside the borders. Wow. All right, we'll put a little D marker over there. To try to remember. All right. Masterwork wooden bed. Oh, I just realized we don't have bed rolls. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, fawns. Let's go and build. I don't know, like five bed rolls here. So when we do another, um, another caravan with more people. I mean, we might still want more, depending on how many people we're sending, of course, but... Fonza, of course you're sleeping instantly. Of course. Always happens, although just just for another... I think they sleep until 8 when they're on the road. Actually, no, they're already up. I guess they get up at 6. Alright. Okay. They didn't sleep for very long. 
I'm sorry, we got a legendary claw federal. Wow. Okay. Let's uninstall this. We had an alpaca self tamed. We could shear you for wool. We could look at taming some others because we have more animal handling. Yeah, Y cone is very good. I could check to see. Well, let's put a tame on this alpaca. And if we have any dromedaries, but we don't. I don't even know what sex our current alpaca is. Ugh. Can I not sort by name here? Alpaca is male, female. Well, yeah, we could get a breeding pair of alpacas. Yeah, I think there might be a great chicken call. Not that they're being too problematic. Although, no, the nutrition consumption is kind of going over a little bit. Now, obviously, the chickens don't use up much, but that's fine. We'll do an auto slaughter. Um, we're going to go to zero and zero for the adults. And you know what? Let's get rid of these goats, too. How you doing, Fonz? I think, yeah, you will sleep one more day on the way there. A decent amount of wealth, but only when we one person. I'm hoping your visibility is low and reduce the chance of maybe getting attacked along the way. Meanwhile, home. That was such a good defense. Oh my god, that went so well. Smog Smogger, the constructor has nothing to do. Really? I mean, I guess that's fine. It's too bad you don't research as a random filler job. Or clean. Yes, there's nothing to construct. It's fine sometimes. I'm always worried about keeping everyone busy, but... Oh, sure. Now it's fully windy and fully sunny. When we already have the power situation fixed. Sure. Okay. Actually, we can turn this on. We got... We got extra power now, right? We got lots to spare. We do. Actually, if we don't have any of this going on, I think we might still be running negative power. We might still want some extra batteries. Schedule and happiness. Oh, it owes a night owl. Well, I'm sorry, buddy. Let me remove that. Um, I can't remember. I think it's a 10 they start complaining. Oh, wait, oh. Oh, they, at 11, they're unhappy. Although still, sending the vet at 10 might be a good idea. Mm, I think to 18. Let's do that. We have tons of idlers. If we were researching more basic tech, we could go and build a bunch of the basic research bases. I mean, it's not going to help while we're working towards multi-analyzer. Hmm, I don't know. Um, yeah, unrestricted. We want to do like a big hauling job, something random. I could assign some mining. We don't have much steel bank, and we might want some to open up some options. Although that's really only going to be one person. Yeah, I don't really want... This is for the first time in my entire RimWorld experience. I don't really want to start... Um, like, constructing a bunch of stuff. I kind of wish they were busy, but here. Well, oh, you know what we can do? Is we can construct a smelter. Oh, that's the art bench spot. Okay, there we go. I didn't know which way it was oriented. So we'll do this. We do need some steel. We've got... Oh, we need some components as well. So, we're going to come here. We're going to do one component block. And... Some steel. Oh! Does it need to be mined at the same time? That's weird. Okay. But Reich is going to come down here and take care of this. Yeah, and Oedo as well, because they were actually quite happy about that. And then hopefully someone's going to go and haul this component, since a bunch of people might... Well, I mean, they're not idle now. Oh, because they're asleep. But yeah, there you go. Hauling is going to happen. We'll get this steel. I'm going to set this up. We can start smelting down some slag chunks around the way. I mean, we've got steel on the map still, but, like, why not, right? And then let's designate these 63 steel slag chunks as a regular haul and it'll keep some of these guys busy some of them can't haul Fawn's having a sleep right outside there no that's fine what we'll do is we'll i think we'll keep going until we can do the trade and then it'll be a good time for a cut 
as they travel back home. Oh, okay. Here's the other thing. I'm going to turn the power on for here. We've got a bunch of burn apparel. We're going to do burn weapons. Do forever. So I'd say once they get below 50% hit points, they're really not worth much and probably not worth keeping around. We might... Oh my god, I'm trying to get to exactly 50. I might make an exception for like... Masterwork and Legendary. Maybe they're maybe even below 50% they're okay. Maybe below 25% we'd burn them and buy them anyway. We'll do that. Although, I guess, hold on. We can't filter for smeltable here, can we? So, okay, the ranged weapons I can't burnify other than the wood ones. Maybe, I wonder if this is also filtering these maybe it wouldn't burn like metal swords maybe just can you make wooden swords and things like that maybe maybe it's fine because really it's at the smelter which we're building now we want to smelt smeltable stuff weapons apparel and not necessarily destroy oh i hold on i can put the destroy here that's maybe what i should do instead of the something that's burn instead of destroy Yeah, okay. Let me cancel all the burn apparels here. You just cremate corpses, that's fine. And then this place will do that instead. So do forever, do forever for something that is smeltable. Um, well, first of all, if it's there. First of all, we're going to smelt the bio-coated weapons, regardless. Then we'll put another smelt weapon in here. Do forever. This is going to burn anything or smelt anything that is below 60% hit points and isn't super awesome. Now, I don't think hit points affects the accuracy or anything of weapons. I think they've gone back and forth in the past, but I think the current version of the game, um, hit points of weapons don't get used. But I'm going to suggest that if there's a weapon sitting around with this few hit points, we're probably not using it, right? Because anything we craft that's going to be good is going to be there. Um, I mean, I guess I could... Yeah, and masterwork weapons. So the, the quality of the weapon affects accuracy. And once you get the masterwork, the, the damage goes up. So we're explicitly never going to do the masterwork. But otherwise, if it can be smelted, we'll do that. Apparel, the same thing. We're going to do this. So this is going to burn or smelt everything that can be smelted that is bio-coated. Then we're going to do another smelt apparel. We're going to smelt everything that can be smelted that's tainted. Then, smelt apparel, do forever, anything that would count as tattered. And for this, because we don't have anything that can repair clothing, we're just going to leave it this way. Actually, I'll put it like 55 or something like this. So anything that's tattered or nearly so, we'll smelt it down. It can't really be sold for much money, and we get the material back, so that's okay. Then for the destroy jobs, I guess we're going to repeat some of these things. Um, at this point... This is something that can't be smelted. Let me remove this. So this is going to destroy all bio-coated weapons. Then we're going to destroy any weapon that's going to be kind of trash and not sellable. And then for the apparel, destroy anything bio-coated. Tainted stuff doesn't sell for much any either, so we're going to do this. So this destroys everything tainted. And then finally for apparel, anything that's left over that has 55% or fewer hit points. And I might, in this case, I might want to leave the good stuff here um, to sell. Because even at reduced hit points, it might still have value. I mean, up until a certain point, but let's do that. This is going to take care of most of it. Okay, that's great. Oh, and then after you do all this... Smelt metal from slag. Take care of all the inventory management first, and then you can start doing the slag jobs, which is fine. Now, I think this is a generic craft job. Oh, interesting. You're going to do the EMP grenades. Hmm. That would be this one. EMP grenades don't have a quality. 
I'm gonna forbid this. Reset you. Don't do the grenades of any kind right now. There we go. That's fine. Okay. I'm pleased with that. Keeps us a little steady supply of steel. You really not have enough power? Oh, you're not connected to power. I kept thinking there was a shortage, but no. There we go. Just extend this. That's good. In fact, you know what? Go ahead and just do this as kind of a redone power connection around the base. I like those from time to time. There we go. Smelting some more garbage. That's good. The fawns, are you here? Not quite yet. And now you're here. Trade. All right, let's take care of this. So ideally, we might want to buy, say, all the Neutromian components, advanced components. What else might we be looking to buy? I mean, steel rain and plastia would be nice. I suspect we're not going to be able to do this, but I'm just putting this as a mark. Uh, robust. I would love to be able to inject my people with robust. Okay. Let's scroll back up to the top. I'm not selling the dromedaries or the packaged survival meals. We are going to sell off all these random bits of leather. The wool. I'm going to keep this medicine. And then we're going to sell all this. Hopefully the clothing. Yeah, see, look at garbage stuff. Yeah, a lot of this clothing is going to sell for a decent amount of cash. We're not going to be able to buy everything that I've gone and bookmarked, but that's okay. Okay. First of all, I'm going to zero out the steel. I would love to make some uranium maces, but I'm not sure that buying the uranium is the priority. I guess what I'm going to do is just put back a bunch of the plasteel. The caravan weight's fine. There we go. Still get 120 plasteel. The neutromine, we'll have to, we want to research, I guess, uh, the like drug manufacturing side of things. But that's going to be wonderful to have. And of course, components. Accept. Come home. That's good. Um, for a research bench, yeah, I'm actually wondering, and we got plasteel, we could make plasteel longswords. A lot of times I make uranium maces, but plasteel longswords, the other really good option. And the research for this is basically nothing. Um, this into panoxiclin. I wonder if we should get go juice. I think like we could have all of our people carry go juice for emergency situations. Well, let me start by queuing this up and then maybe into medicine production, although hopefully you can mostly buy all the medicine we need. But other than the multi analyzer, this is all stuff you could research at the primitive research bench. I'm proposing that we go and build a few more simple research benches over here. Hate that they're facing a different way, but so be it. Um, because we are getting more and more idlers, especially if I don't queue up very many things, and they can help out accelerating the research for a little bit, which is going to be good. I'm hoping that our researchers prioritize the high tech research benches because they're better. Although I don't actually 100% know if that's true, but we'll see. Okay, we're going to put a cut in here. That was a that was a very functional episode. I'm really happy with how some things are progressing. And this trade route is pretty good. I'm hoping the Fawns, with his little uranium knife, is going to be able to get back home safely. And he's fairly well armored. If he has to go, like, melee with one person, with his melee skill of 10 and relatively decent armor, hopefully it works out okay. Although, depending on what kind of genetics we're dealing with, we'll see. Speaking of genetics... Oh, hold on. Did I research... I researched the xenogenetics things, like, weirdly early, didn't I? I did. Which gives us the storage, which is going to be important, I think. Right, we need a gene bank. I don't know, unless that's what we use this space for. Yeah, let me just slap it in there for now. We're short a component, although we're about to get some, but I'll also go and issue a mining command right over there. Okay, then we'll have a place to store our genetic stuff. Excellent. Folks, thanks for watching another episode. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.